Well, hello, Living Word Community Church and anybody else who happens to be listening to this short devotional. Um, I've been invited to share something from the Word with you, and I'm going to read uh, the story of the teacher of the law who came to Jesus to ask him what the greatest commandment was. And uh, let me just read this to you. It's from Mark uh, chapter 12, starting at verse 28. And then I'll make um, a few brief observations on it. One of the teachers of the law came and heard them debating. Noticing that Jesus had given them a good answer, he asked him, Of all the commandments, which is the most important? The most important one answered Jesus is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbour as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Well said, teacher, the man replied. You are right in saying that God is one and there is no other but him. To love him with all your heart, with all your understanding and with all your strength and to love your neighbour as yourself is more important than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw that he had answered wisely, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And from then on, no one dared ask him any more questions. I think in these verses... Uh, we are orientated towards uh, how we should be living. What are the main priorities uh, in this continued kind of partial lockdown circumstances that we find ourselves in, and indeed at any time in our lives as Christians? And these verses give us the answer. Number one, our priority is to know and to love God. I'm reminded that the Apostle Paul said, I consider everything a loss compared with the surpassing greatness of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. Jesus said, if you want to have a definition of heaven, this is it. This is eternal life that men may know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom he has sent. And so I want to encourage all of us, firstly, that this period of time, perhaps gives us all an opportunity to get in close to our Lord and to spend time feeding from, reading and meditating on his word. To spend time in worship and prayer as individuals uh, seeking him, seeking his face. And uh, a bit like uh, <clears throat> Mary, the sister of Martha, um, taking out time just to sit listening at the feet of Jesus. And uh, in these ways, uh, we come to know him better and we have his glory, as it were, rubbed off on us. And uh, we <clears throat> therefore become more like him and filled with his, uh, both his word and his spirit, because of which we're going to be more fruitful for him. So to love him with heart, mind, soul and strength is the first and greatest commandment. But out of that comes the second, that we should love our neighbours as ourselves. Well, who is our neighbour? If you remember another teacher of the law who, who asked Jesus the same question, um, <clears throat> after Jesus had given him his answer, he said, uh, well, who is my neighbour? And Jesus responded, if you remember, by giving the parable of the Good Samaritan. In other words, our neighbour is any human being who's in need, who God brings us into contact with. However, Jesus did say to his disciples, if you remember, uh, in, the, in the Last Supper, a new commandment I give to you, that you should love one another. And so I am going to break down this loving our neighbour as ourselves into two categories. Firstly, the people of God that is, our brothers and sisters in Christ, particularly in our own local church, but also broader than that. We have a special responsibility to love 
our brothers and sisters in Christ, to serve them, uh, to do good to them, and to actually fulfill all the one another commandments that um, come in a lot of Paul's letters, you know, where he says things like prefer one another, honour one another, carry each other's burdens, a whole plethora of one another commandments and serving one another practically is, is one of the main ones, of course. What is our motivation in loving our brothers and our sisters? Well, it's very simple, that we might help them to grow up uh, into maturity in Christ. Very simple. And so <clears throat> that's part of loving our neighbour as ourselves. But then outside of the church, uh, we're to love all people. Um, and again, this lockdown situation perhaps gives us opportunity to be mindful of our neighbours, uh, particularly the vulnerable, and to assist and help them in any way that they may have needs, uh, shopping or picking up prescriptions, this kind of practical thing. Um, but <clears throat> our work colleagues, um, those in our families who don't know the Lord, all these people we are um, to, to love as well. And what is the main uh, motivation in that? Well, isn't it that they might find the Lord Jesus Christ for themselves? Um, we're called to be witnesses for him, all of us. And uh, so <clears throat> that's what I wanted to share with you. Um, just some verses which help orientate ourselves um, in our lives. Uh, at this time and in it, at any other time for that matter. So thanks for listening. The Lord bless you. And um, until the next time.